Okay, so we're, we're on homework number one. So we're on homework number one. We're just going to go. I just want to give you a really quick, like, six-minute introduction. We'll be out of here. So, um, okay. What, what we're doing, you guys are going to be people that teach kids math, and part of math is adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Let's think. And so what, what we want to do here is think deeper probably than you ever have before about our base number system. For example, if I write the number 73, what if a kid was to say to you, hey, that's just 10. But you're thinking, no, that's the number 73. It's not 10. It's not 7 plus 3. It's 73. And so you'll be wanting the child to understand, the young person to understand that there's something different about the 7 and 3 based on where they're sitting, right? The, th- the 7 is in the what's place. The 10's place, right. And the 3 is in the 1's place. What if there was another number? What if there was a 4 out there? What is the 4 in the what's place? The 100's place. Now, where do those come from? 10, 100. What's, what's next? What if there's a 5 out here? That's in the 1,000's place. What's up? It's place value, Yeah. And we have a base 10 system. Are you aware of that? Our number system is base 10, which means the place values go times 10, times 10, times 10 as they go to the left. Right? You start with the ones place, times 10, the 10th place, times 10, the 100th place, times 10, the 1,000th place, on you go. We have a base 10 system. Works perfect. We've got 10 figures. It's perfect. Base 10 system. So, so what does that mean? So if you're adding up something like 83 and... Um, 19, you'll teach kids to add, right? What if they went 9 and 3 is 12? That's not right. Why not? What are they, what are they supposed to do? They're supposed to put the 2 here and do what with the 1? Yeah, because it's 1 in the 10s place. You see, it's about, and you know that, of course, but that's what's going to seem foreign to them. They're going to go, why don't you write the 12 here? It's 12. Well, you're teaching them that there's value to places. It isn't just what the digits are, but it's where they sit, right? So the one has to carry into the tens place, as you know, and then that's 10, and the one has to carry over, and that's why we get that answer. So to help you think what they're going to think and to think deeper and really clear in base 10, we're going to give you problems in other bases. So, for example, let's think for just a minute here. Uh, Let's make up a new base. Let's, let's do the base 4 system for a second. We're going to change the base up. So think about base 10 for a minute. You know about base 10, right? In base 10, we have the numbers 1, 2, 3, da, 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 all the way. We'll start at 0. And, what, what, you know, one, well, we know 0. I'll skip 0. 1, 2, 3, all the way to 9. You, the highest number you can make with one digit in base 10 is 9. To make 10, you need two digits, right? So, so think about that again. The highest, let me write what I just said, the highest number with made, the highest number, well, the highest number possible, the highest number possible with one digit is nine in the base 10 system. The highest thing you can do with only one digit is nine, right? Ten or more, you need two digits. Well, the base number, the highest thing you can make is one lower than it. So then in base four, what's the highest thing you can make? A three, yeah. In fact, let me do, let's go back. I'm probably not doing this very clearly. I I mean, that's true and everything, but let me say it even better. Let's look back to base 10 again. How did the place values go in base 10? This is the ones, tens, hundreds, right? Okay, well then let's do base four and let's do the same thing. So in base four, this is the ones. They all start off with the ones, by the way. All the systems start off with the ones. And what's going to come in the base four system? What's the next one going to be? It's not going to be ten. What's it going to be? It's going to be four. Now here's the real trick question. What's the next one? Sixteen. 16 good job. So you multiply by four. So you start one times ten, times ten. In the base four system, you start off with one times four, times four, times four. You on and on go. So for example, if somebody gives me the number two one one. In, and they'll write F-O-R-E down there let you know it's not a normal number. It's a base 4 number. Somebody gives me what we normally think of as 211, right? If they wrote 211 over here, we would say 210 and 111. 211. But in base 4, that's, this is not 
the same, is it? What is it? How do you figure out what that is? It's two sixteens, 32. And one four and one one, it's what? 37. That's 37. Did that seem weird? So in other words, in the base four system, you start off with the ones place, and you go times four, times four, times four, like in base 10, you start with one, times 10, times 10, times 10. And so any number that you've got to remember, so this is two sixteens, one four and one one. Two sixteens is 32, one four, we probably use calculators on everything, when you're testing, when we're here. So that's the number 37. So 211 base four is 37. And that makes us think about place value with numbers. Well, we are about out of time. So that's, that's just the beginning of what we're going to do.